Alright guys, today I'm going to chain my stock fog light on my E46 M3 uh, to a yellow fog light. As you can see right now it's just a clear fog light. I have it on right now. It isn't bright enough. Um, I kind of like the amber look uh, yellow. It break through the fog and break through the dust better for fog light, you know. So yeah, let, let me try it and see how it looks and see how it works and uh, I'll test it around and uh, see I can see much better or people in front of me can see me on better on incoming. So I guess this one is good too. I mean, you know, it's, it's from manufacturing, so. But uh, for the look, I think the amber yellow light looks better. Uh, let me show you my uh, fog light that I just bought. I got it from uh, Amazon. Here it is. This is a kind of yellow lens. I think it's a yellow um, uh, bulb also. It came with it. Um, this one is made by Windjet, I think that's the company. Yeah, right there, Windjet. Sorry, come on, folks, right there. Um, so that's how it look. I hope it fits perfectly like an OEM, but uh, I guess this is a part number right here. Just for the right. This one for the left, and here's the part number as well. So, well, let's go. Let's. let's this is a pretty simple install. Um, you only need to, like a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. First of all, you need to remove the the bezel that uh, on the bumper. I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's go. Go to the car. Okay, let's start with front. Um, see, this is all you need like a little extension uh, 10 millimeter socket, and uh, pretty simple. See, all you gotta do is just remove this bezel out. Just reach your hands in here and pop that up like that. It will come out just the bezel. Okay, and then here is the 10 millimeter socket that you need to remove right there. So unscrew that one and you can pull the fog light out. Pretty simple. It came out, the whole assembly is coming out, and then just disconnect the wire by push this back, this clip out, and disconnect it. That's it. It look exact the same to me. So, all right. I will. I'm just gonna keep this too in case um, this won't burn out or anything like that. It's better to keep the original and then just clip this back in. Well, this notch here is gonna hook into this little open window there. Just snap it in. That's it. Alright, let's 
snap in. So, there you go. There's two tap you know, over here. It, it's, it will go inside that uh, like little uh, window in there. So both of them have to slide in. So it locks from this thing coming out this way. So make sure those two uh, go in. These tap here, these two tap right there. These two here, one and two. Okay. These two here, that will slide into the bumper back in there. Okay, so make sure those two will slide in. Here's the two uh, slot I'm trying to tell you that uh, these two here have to slide in there to lock it. This and this right there. Okay, so when you put it back, make sure it's the two notch, the two ear, whatever they call it, slide back in there before you screw into this uh, hole right here. All right. Same that process, and we have to video it. So I'll let you guys see it once both of them install.